Hi guys, it's Clint and Shell. Hi guys. <coughs> uh, first things first. Uh, hello. No, that was the first thing. Uh, what we're doing, uh, go ahead and explain it, my dear. My best friend um, gave me this beautiful it's thing. Beautiful. She actually did the quilting and everything, and then it was so cool, but she put in plastic bags, and she called it like a jewelry catcher, and I was thinking, wouldn't that be perfect for our ephemera? So, you know, like when you're packing... Um, what she did is she had like a set of earrings in there so she has because she's really all together and everything she's put together so she put her watch or whatever and then close it up and she created this her sister she said that her sister showed her how or gave her one made out of a hot pad and of course you know how we are we have to make it our own yeah make it our own shellify clinify whatever today it's clinify yeah, so it was Shellify, but I turned it over to Clint because mainly course. it's fabric. And you know I'm the fabric person, of course. So, that's what he's going to show you. Because I was thinking, even if you, you know, they're just typical um, Ziplocs, but even if you just put little stamps in there. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, you could load a lot in there. Well, and it would be so much easier to organize, right? And you can have the zipper zipper zip box and everything you I can mean, have yeah whatever, whatever you, want. you want to do actually that's a good idea is to get the zipper zip locks we actually have these which is what i use for organizing out in the shed so, so they're a little bit longer and squattier so so yeah. you just want to you know kind of make your pattern or whatever which clint has already done yeah this was a was a learning pattern but we she's got Gracie Lynn appointment today. We have a lot going on today. A lot. So. And so I just figured I'm going to finish it just on camera and not and worry so about it. all he did was cover a... Uh, yeah, I took the interface and I okay. put sticky and I'm crap go on it. Wait a second. my time is limited. How, uh, how wide are you going to want this section? About that? About an inch? Or yeah, does whatever. it matter? It I mean, why matter. can't I just have a, you know, a tiny thing? That way you I have more you just room. Need, because of what your um, sewing machine is, I just think you need to sew... You know, two or three, I two I or mean, three lines. Hold, hold on, let me finish talking. No. Two or three lines b beside it so that we can, um, so it holds really nice. Well, I was going to say it's going to hold really nice because it's fabric. And, but yeah, I mean, I would take two lines and, don't, yeah, don't breathe. Good. Don't breathe? Yeah, don't <laughs> breathe. Uh, but that way, if I make oh, it narrower, on. uh oh, hold on, little buddy. Oh, go ahead. You do whatever you want to do. Uh, well, let me there. finish this. Uh, so what I did is, she's got to put a little baby in the litter box just to be safe. Um, so I, what I did is, and I'm really happy. With, this is one of the best lineup jobs I think I've ever done, truthfully. Um, no, she's putting little, little Charlie Charles um, in the litter box. We're trying. He did it. He might be getting hungry. I put him in front of their food bowl. But anyway, um, <laughs> so this is just that one layer of interfacing. I would make it uh, like I do our covers, and I would use two two pieces of interfacing with the sticky crap in between them just to make it a little thicker. But no, what I was thinking is, yeah, I can sew two rows and make it about a half inch wide. Then that way you'd have more air. The... The, oh, yeah. the storage would be bigger. Yeah, do whatever you want to do. So, I, I got to go grab my iron. I didn't think I needed it, but I actually have to um, kind of, you know, put a slight hem on this real quick. Uh, so I'll tell you guys what I put up with. Oh, shush up. Uh, so, I'll be right back. <laughs> Let me grab my iron and this. I'll be right back. Okay. Um... I was going to say something. I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, this side is actually cut because from that. So I'm just going to line my ruler up. Uh, probably going to do, let's go an inch and a quarter. Sorry, I haven't got ready to leave yet. Uh, so kind of, kind of have to watch here, especially with, uh,
So all of it's pretty much an inch and quarter, except for right here. So while my ruler's on it, I'm just going to use my nail and make sure it's all lined up. I think that's fairly close to what I need. So uh, I probably should give you guys the dimensions on our thing here. Um, if I remember right, I think it's eight and a half or eight inches. Eight inches by 15, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's just shy of 15. Or no, it's right at 15. So it's it's eight and a half inches wide, 15 inches long. Um, so I got a inch and a half. Uh, what I'm wanting to do with this is try to um, uh, hold on with me. I want, with it being, you know, what we're using is using it for with ephemera and stuff, I kind of want to be able to have as much of the pocket showing. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do just like I do a binding, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put this, uh, cut this in half, and, not cut, sorry guys, um, okay, so, but yeah, little, little Charlie is doing really good, he's still can't, you know, he can't see, but, um, he's starting to learn, he, um, I put him in front of the food bowl in the kitchen, you know, where we feed everyone, and I just let him there, let him eat, and then uh, our Daddy got up and kind of, he's been taking care of him, so he uh, went in and was kind of supervising him and making sure he's okay. He's such a good daddy, I tell you. I, Little Artie is something, quite the daddy. I, I couldn't have asked for a better daddy if you ask me. So. Of course, I don't need all this length. I just figured, well, I can do it. And probably um, on the cover, I did one scene around, um, I admire the edges, of course. I just did one seam at three-eighths of an inch instead of like a quarter of an eight. So let me, just like I would normally do, I, sorry, the camera is a little bit high, but um, just kinda, you know, we've been moving, trying to move stuff, and we had the racetrack, and cats, so, little bud, he did play with it, we just didn't show it to you, cause, we really didn't want to show, show him right away because he was not staying in. Cause he was not staying in. <laughs> so we, you know, we didn't want you guys to. But yeah, so he was playing with it. So he actually did get to. But he has a tail like a dog. Yeah, he's, he's the funniest tail. cat. We've never <laughs> seen a cat. He actually, if you talk to him, he actually wags his tail like a puppy. It's hilarious. I've never seen that before. And he, I mean, he just, it just goes a mile a minute. It's hilarious. It really is just the cutest little thing. But, yeah, so, but he is. Daddy, Gracie's helping me walk. Oh, yeah, Gracie climbs up on her treadmill. <laughs> it's funny. Up, you know, where the uh, controls are and everything. So, just sits, here. just sits there and keeps her company. She's a funny little girl. She just has to be with Mama. And, you know, even she doesn't lay with her a lot much anymore unless she doesn't feel good. But she still has to be close to her. And she'll follow her quite a bit. But so oh, she's she, definitely Mama's king. She is Mama's baby girl. Especially when she's sick. But I'd rather... Oh! Oh! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she started falling. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Don't pull that out. Because then I'll 
start off and then it won't be good tomorrow. Oh, good grief, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I will have to be pausing the video just because. Uh oh, little baby, just to make sure she, he's okay. Because since she's exercising, I kind of need to keep an eye on him. So I'm gonna put a few dots here just to keep it down. Uh, probably will maybe try to run a quarter inch seam over it just to make sure that it's uh, secure. I don't want to have to mess with a bunch of uh, so but yeah he's doing really good yeah he's been in since the first yeah he's been in since uh, New Year's Day so like I said, we, you know, we, you know, we didn't plan, you know, I know we, we knew he couldn't breathe, you know, and so we didn't, you know, we were planning on just being able to treat him, you know, with, with uh, antibiotic and just, you know, get him healthy and then go ahead and take him out to tour his mama, but, you know, God had other plans, so we got another cat, which... Yeah, you know, or other. We'll yeah, you know, one of ours. He's getting pretty old, so I don't know how long he's got left to live, and um, so you know, it's just what God wanted. We're we're okay with it, you know. Clint is. I'm not. She, yeah, she's. I'm in denial. She is in <laughs> denial. She's blowing smoke, guys. Why enough? I didn't even double check. Yep. Okay. Uh, scissors. Just cut just a little bit. Of okay. I know it's going to be wide. Probably will not uh, bend over the uh, ends of it. I'm just going to let it be. However, once I do it it shouldn't really unravel very easy so but it's a little longer so what I'll do is once I get it on there I can uh, okay should be done with my uh, iron turn it off so there we go okay I am done with this I have the, um, the pink thread in there. I um, this is somewhat transparent fabric, um, which is okay, but it's not uh, not as easy to have to really pay attention. When I hadn't decided on how I was going to do this. Um, Oh, okay. Forgot I put the, <laughs> the handle for the charging cord in or through my handle of my uh, sewing machine box. Okay. So I've got, uh, like I said, pink thread. Oh, come on. There we go. have enough for a quarter of an inch seam so hope everyone's having a great day like I said today is Gracie's vet or spa day 
whatever you want to call it. That's what Shell tells her it is. <laughs> I don't think she buys it. Well, the lady gives her a little massage. That's so. true. She does kind of do she her hum paws. She humors me. Yeah, she does humor Shell. <laughs> so it's quite, it's quite funny. Yeah, it looks like. <laughs> Quarter of an inch looks like it's going to, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera. My handle is... Um, so yeah, she does humor show when it comes to, like I said, we've got just the awesome event, so their staff and the vet, just wonderful. Could have used blue thread, but I wanted to tie it all together, and I really didn't feel like having to put... Let me run it out. No, I'm not going to cut my thread. No sense in cutting it. I'm just going to put it back. Yeah, I want the seam in the center to be as thin as possible. That way you guys have more room to uh, store stuff. So I think that's the best way to do it. I had, you know, I was having that heck of a problem threading my machine when I was, um, did that one cover. Well, I had a little bit of wet glue and it clogged the hole. So, gotta watch that. I didn't even think about it. And then just, I kept, I don't usually have, um, issues with it boy for life me i could not get that stupid thing to to uh, thread okay uh, let me see here okay. uh, sorry guys like i said this is kind of a for the moment we've been having you guys want you guys to get the video earlier and with there it is I need my pen sorry that's why that's where I was going um so I was kind of didn't have all my ducks in a row yeah it's early well I guess uh we gotta leave here by nine so yeah we gotta leave here at nine it's almost eight. 15 15 so that'd be seven and a half is the center of 15 Correct. Correct. She's supposed to say yes or whatever. Seven and a half. You know how I am when it comes to you being precise. So, uh, huh? True. True. Oh, true. I thought you. Yeah, sure, honey. Oh, I said. You know how I am about being precise. <laughs> yeah, I call it something else. Yeah. Hmm. Oh well. If water soluble, I'll just wipe it on my sweat. Okay, so I'm not going to be sewing it quite yet. Make sure the smooth side that don't look too bad. The only bad thing is when you're show, sewing with a different color of your fabric, you have a tendency to uh, show your, your uh, stitching for what it is. If it's not very good, you'll see it. But I think as far as that goes, I don't think I did too bad. Oh, man. Yeah. So, now let me. So we gotta go to Wonderful World of New Mexico Friday. I hate going down there, but it is essential. Uh, Shell's got her spine appointment, so let's see what's going on with her. Okay, let me dry, let it dry for a second. 
and let's go ahead and start she said to do this alternating I'm gonna go ahead and be really careful so I don't mess up my um, she wants to leave about an inch guys about that all the way around well yeah can I stagger these yeah, I, think so. I can't really clip them, hun. There's no way to clip them. Oh, I thought to keep them in place. No, yeah. there's not because it's an inch away from the edges. There's no way to clip them. They're not that no, long. I mean, the plastic bags clip them together. Oh. Like when you're sewing it in. Oh. Yeah, we'll see. Whatever you need to do. So. You can do it however you want to. It's I know. Perfect my project now so if it's my project guys you know what this means it's going to be perfect uh yeah so why my glue is drying why don't we measure these bags i'm not worried about the width just the length and i might go ahead and so they are how about just over seven and three quarters so roughly a couple inches so I'm trying to figure out about how much I'm going to want sticking out the other end. So let's just go ahead and you can stagger them. I, and actually I am going to do that like this. See how this one's it's still about an inch. So I'm going to go ahead, hold this down. About that like that. I uh, don't know if it's necessary. Um, but I'm okay with that so let's go ahead like so oops yeah they are going to want to slide around of course because they're plastic so you know uh, yeah, let me go. I'll be right back. I'll pause it and check on the baby. Okay, little bub's doing really, really good. So, uh, I don't know who's, I think Artie. Artie's looking for him. Yeah, Artie, Daddy's looking for him. He is just an amazing, you know, he really is just an amazing daddy. Like I said, he couldn't have asked for a better daddy, so... I'm very, very, very proud of Artie and what he has, how he has stood, stand, stood up. Good. He is talking to him. He's trying to find him, which is, I was going to say, that's, you know, a daddy right there. You know, he's a better daddy and then some, some real daddies. So I am very, very proud of good babysitter for sure he is just a, a kitten is a lot of work yeah i don't not know how many i'm going to put in but that's all right wait let me make sure i got this yeah i'm right so yeah this isn't going to be the easiest thing to sew there probably would be a different way to do it but like i said we're kind of rushed today um Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. Hold on, let me. Uh, dang it. What's wrong? Oh, that dang glue isn't holding. Okay. Oh, is it coming out or is it holding it? It's not holding it. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, this is my, the art glitter glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to put it. it's not holding it but that's irritating it is a porous fat well all, all fabric is porous but if it is a thin fabric it really will um, suck that glue through it and I, that's one thing I was having a hard time with when I was ironing you know I glued it when I folded it over but it didn't want to stick because uh, it kept holding the Sorry, I really need a paper towel. 
but but yeah, he is just an, an incredible papa. He just just blows me away how he has stood up and adopted those babies, Gracie and and Wilbur Dude, and now little guy. So yeah, there you are. Um, yeah, he's an amazing. So just trying to keep it fairly close to I can't find any more bags I think that's all the bags she gave me yeah I didn't uh, there's more out in the shed but there's more I out in the shed uh, How many are I don't know um, I'm really kind of stressed out about this no uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple pans real quick stick pans and I am going to go into the the where my stitching oh, is good plan. and Daddy, the little guy. okay little guys here oh it moved on he me on the cord. That's he cool. did he came in on his own oh man okay hold on dang it he actually came in here from the litter box and he hasn't done that yet. he hasn't done that yet he so that is okay darn it oh okay it kind of moved on me you know it's not going to be perfect but it's going to be as good as i can do let me see about okay it's about you know it doesn't help because the dang glue is not i could have put glue under it but I didn't. Ah, can't get it in the dumb hole. Whoops, bent my needle. Okay. Let me let it sit just for a minute before I really start messing around with it. Probably just go ahead and come in and line those. Um, yeah, let me. Since this is the part that's not really, see if I can get. I really only need to go through. Dang. Oh, it's making me nervous. Wow, that was close. Okay, well. Kind of moved a little bit, but I can straighten that up. You know, like I said, it's not perfect, and that's, you know, it is what it is. So, it'll be okay. Can't always be perfect. No matter how much I try to do it just going to be the way I guess it wants to be. It is awfully, well, especially those right there. So, so. This one right here. Probably would want an even amount, you know, of, of bags. I really don't know how many she gave me. So. All I really need to do is this one right here. Okay. Got the pins in. My table, my under table, I got so much fabric and stuff under it that... Okay, I don't not, I don't, I don't not, oh Lord, I'm really, it's going to be one of those days, guys. I do not need my um, sink guide for that. Put on my magnet, let me, since I've already got lines on there, I'm just going to go right where the lines are. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is, instead of starting at the end, I'm going to start right before the plastic. And then that way I can get a couple stitches in there. 
in the plastic so try to pull my needle out my pen I mean No, I'm not. I do not pin very often. So, okay. My foot back down. I can actually. Well, I can come back. I don't think I want to. Once I get the go through both layers of the start to. Sorry. Okay, it's wanting to move on me a bit, but I tell you, I'm gonna pull it. Like I said, it is a little bit uh, off, and I'm you know, let's go and try to go in the same seam I had when I did our binding. I really don't want it to unravel. I'm going to go ahead. Hopefully I'm not past my... should be right on the very edge of my cover. Yep, I was. There we go. Let me go back to my original seam. That way it don't unravel. i got to turn that off. It's killing my eye. Okay, now we're going to go back down. Well... got off a little bit of my stitching but yeah this won't be a long video guys I mean, uh, we are going to put eyelets and the tie uh, the one or uh, one Charlotte made has a mother of pearl button okay. with a loop uh oh Wilbur's up so that means he's gonna be he's not being mean to him but he, he what he's doing is he's being arty which you know already raised him he so he wants to carry him everywhere and you know he doesn't understand that that you know that well, what he's doing is wrong so, here, so you know he, he really doesn't sorry I was plugging in the camera I, I forgot I had unplugged it from the wall uh, he doesn't understand you know to him he's okay. taking care of Hi, of little bub you know so he He's been coughing more today than he has been, but been, like I said, we're treating him, so it just gonna get. What's wrong? Out of my cover. So I might go ahead just to be safe. I'm gonna go. I mean, this is not going to rip one bit. There's no way. So let's go ahead and do. I think that's fine actually. Yeah. So, let me go to the end of this one real quick. Where? What's his name? Charles. Charles. Charlie. Sorry, Charlie. I am, um, you know, we love Mash, Mash, but to be honest, I can't stand that pop. It's Charles Emerson Winchester the third. He really ticks me off. Can't stand that man. And, and so I'd really... Charles is, yeah, when I say it, I, that's the first thing I think about is that man, and I just, oh, it makes me, yeah, yeah, I do not like that. But, so I'm going to have Shell do the other part because she's got more steady of a, steadier of a hand. 
go. Do we really? You know, we... Oh, really? Make us. Yeah, for that water line. Shouldn't be in our way. Okay, hon, you're up. Am I up? Yep, you're up. You do whatever you need to. Thank you, guys. Uh, Shell's going to take over. I don't know that there's anything for me to do. Well, but I shall look at it. You got, yeah, look at it. Oh, let me get my iron real quick. I shall tell you what I think. So, yeah, we are going to use a eye uh, lips and probably crinkly crap it all together so. what do you guys think that's kind of fun isn't it how come the bags are all wonky honey i don't want to hear about it <laughs> just kidding so uh do you have scissors yeah yeah that's why i was gonna let you do that because i just i'm gonna cut these off well, just these the bottom than the long ones? they might if not just use those it ain't gonna hurt that well, I hate bit. to use those. Okay. I know. I hate oh, here they are. Okay. So, Charlotte said that the best way for her was to, you know, sew a man without the bottom. Which you can, I mean, certainly understand that. Uh -huh. I just don't want to cut his fabric. Mm -hmm. And, you know, really, I mean, there's not that much. So, really, you could just leave it if you wanted. Oh, you could have put a lot more bags in there. Oh, you could have. I just didn't. <laughs> but you know how I have all those really big, um, big items. And I kind of made a book for them, and they they're it's really big and um, bulky. Well, it's kind of hard, tight, and hard to get in there. Mm -hmm. I think this is going to work really well in its place. So, but yeah, you could totally just leave these it's just aesthetics you want bread yeah two pieces yeah, yeah I'm gonna get so there we are and I think that's gonna be really cute of course you know we're gonna have to decorate the front aren't we so I think we'll have to do that later because I don't know really what I want to do but you know Let's just mess with it. <laughs> my idea, let me tell you my idea, was kind of what Clint did. I kind of like that. But what my idea was is to um, to put like a cardboard piece here. Yeah. So it's more like a book. But, I mean, this way I think it's fine too. But, you know, I was thinking of like a spine type thing. And, but I think it's perfect. I kind of wish the the blue was on the outside, but, ow, but I think if I, do you have any more of the blue? Well, I got a whole bunch of it, babe. How much I do want, you want? I want like a square to go on the outside, because I have to decorate it now. Okay, hold on. <laughs> uh, and yeah. I have time, so. Okay, here's this piece. But yeah, we're just going to, you know, put ties on it and then just tie it. Okay, hold on. Originally, my idea was to do like a threefold, trifold, I guess, and kind of do it like this. Oh, with Velcro. I about that, but. But, no. This is so much simpler. No, it is. Well, and I want it jaggedy, so you don't have to straighten it or anything. What are you doing? I was going to cut it. No, I'm going to rip it. Oh, Lord gosh. Oh, my God. No, I got to get out of here. I don't want to <laughs> I'm going to rip it, guys. I tell you what I put up with. I'm glad Clint has me to put up with so he doesn't have to stress about life. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, he can't hear me anyways. But I think I want, yeah, something like that where it's kind of, I don't know why. I feel like this is really country. Got a country feeling to it. Yeah, uh, when Charlotte made her hers, she was going to use the um, freezer bags, she said. But she didn't measure. <laughs> and so the freezer bags that she had kind of earmarked it for were too big. So, 
definitely want to measure, you know, your your bags and make sure that you have the right right size. Okay. I mean, look at that. Isn't that cute? Wilbur, where are you? No, finish up. This probably won't go, well, it won't go live before we head out this morning. Unless I complete it pretty quick. But, there we go. Like that. And honey, can you hand me that um, box of goodness? Yeah. Thank you. I had some stuff in here that I thought I might want to use. You know, that's almost too big in it. But I did have one of these. I think mom I think mom might have made this. Isn't that cute? Okay, I'm gonna glue it down. I'm gonna commit. Because I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> Sometimes that's just what you have to do. Got my exercise in. I've just been trying to build up my heart a little bit. Um, endurance and stuff. So, just walk on the treadmill for a little bit every morning. If I don't have a big day planned. Though I figured if I do have a big day planned not going to stress about it too much. I'm going to move that over just a little. So it's kind of kind of more centered, but it's, it's fine if it's not. Doing good. And then let's kind of see what else we have in this fun little box. Alrighty. See, you could even make itty bitty ones out of like a small little bags, you know? Get any kind of little bags. That's kind of fun. Oh, here's a kitty cat. That'd be kind of cute. Don't call kitties. Don't call any more kitties. Do I want this? I don't know. No, I don't think I do. I don't think I want these. Oh, look at this. We could almost use that. It's just a little bit of a different shade. And then I also have these, which would be kind of fun if you wanted to label, like, inside. Just trying to figure out what I want here. Just need a, something a little, a little something right through there. I think lace would be really cute. Oh, here's one. Did you notice who that was done for? Like, Root and rat lift. I did see Ditch. that, actually. Yeah, isn't that funny? That is odd. It has almost the same name as we do. Just missing the C and the E. Yep. I know, I saw that. We don't have anything there. No, it's a lot more. Oh, good. We're on the road. Got to, like Clint said, take Gracie in. Then we're going to go get our boosters. I'm going to pick up a CD for my MRI, MRI that for Friday. I called yesterday, and the lady said it was really odd. But I called to get a copy of my records, and she said, well, it's easier if they call and so I called them doctor's office and she said well they shouldn't have said that they should have told you you know that you can get them and I said well she said that it takes um, 30 days or whatever and she said there's no reason for it to take 30 days so I'm like calling back and calling this way well she happened to have the program so she could pick it up and I mean she already had the MRI stuff. Yeah, she already had a copy of the MRI items, you know, so it was just kind of like, okay, so what all do you need? And she said, 
the CD because, you know, because the translate later may not have trans translated everything. Seen everything that's actually on it. They may see something different. Yeah, and so I thought, well, so I called her and I said, okay, I need a copy of a CD. How long will that take? And she said, oh, about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, I would just, so I was going to order it and then pick it up today, but, um, yeah, their mailbox was full, so I'm hoping I can just run in and get it this morning, uh, after Gracie's, after my booster and after Gracie's checkup, spa appointment, which we're going to have to clean out that carrier too, Daddy. Oh, I know. Okay, just. And you're going to have to capture her and put her in. Oh, no. I'm going to put her back now. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's not, not the fondest. But I'm hoping we can quit her amoxicillin. Or not amoxicillin, but her antibiotics. And get her to... Um, I don't know, guys. I feel like something's off here. I'm not, not that thrilled with what's going on. Not that I have to put much time into it, but, you know. So if I have time, we're going to make several of these and put them in the store, just in case you guys want some uh, different size uh, baggies. I just really don't know what I want. That'd be so pretty if it was a pink one. Oh, wouldn't that pink rose fabric you have been real pretty? Oh, wouldn't it have? Yes, it would have. Do I want something like this, maybe? I don't know. I feel like something's off, and I don't like that at all. So, clock, maybe? <laughs> Little guys over there. That's kind of cute. I might like that. Okay, I'm going to call it good because I don't have a lot of time. We haven't eaten breakfast yet, so I'm going to have to cook breakfast real quick and then shower and get ready while this is downloading. So let's put this here. kind of like the idea of like ephemera on the outside, you know, to kind of say, oh, that's kind of what's inside too. I don't know me. Okay, the little guy ran away. Ran away. It's really starting to explore now. So I think he's definitely feeling better. So I told him I will not love him, but you guys know how long that lasts. <laughs> uh, he's so cute, it's kind of hard not to. I have these. That would have been perfect. Now he's back. Wouldn't that have been cute? Oh well, it is what it is. Okay. I think I'm going to use this. It's kind of got a little stain on it, but I don't think that matters. I think, I think my mother-in-law may have made these. This rose, or I've seen something real similar, but it feels like a handmade one, so I'm pretty sure she made it. kind of brought in some of the blue on the inside. I mean, by all means, you don't have to decorate the outside, but it's a junk journal, so that's kind of cute. And then I'll probably, maybe I'll find like a blue tie over here just to bring in more of the blue. And then we can fill, fill these things up. Let me kind of show you what that's going to look like. I could actually organize my uh, my stash over here, huh? That big old pile of nothingness. But I did like the way that Charlotte made hers because they're tiny and you could put in like stamps and stuff. But I don't know. I'm just putting some stuff together. You know, you could organize these per journal if 
if you wanted to. I'll oh, add. It just fell. Oh, okay. I was thinking, boy, that'd be me in that. Well, I was thinking, you yeah, know, you could it even make fell. that as a companion piece to a journal, really. Well, it could be. That's what I was just fixing to say is you could put, you know, you could organize your stuff and say, oh, you know, I'm going to do a cardinal journal and, you know, I want to use this, 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 and this in the journal so you could kind of uh, put all your items together and get ready to, you know, and then when you're working on your ephemera, you can just kind of pull from here and say, oh yeah, I have that, I want to put in that journal, or even ephemera pieces, this is so large and open that you could even put like finished ephemera pieces in here too, which I think would be a really fun thing to do. But you know, some of these really big pieces you could put in here, just kind of putting some stuff in, just to kind of give you guys an idea. You know, just like that and I mean all it takes is just a little in ingenuity yeah really you know you can use any bags that, that you wanted cute. but see it's gonna have things like that and like I said you know do the little ones use it for your jewelry if you want pills even if you wanted there's all kinds of things that you could do based on the size of your bag. Yeah, you could, really. So I think it's really fun. I think it turned out. I love how I did the... Did you notice how precise it was? I really was... Uh, it was really... Yeah. Yeah, well, and two, you could see the print yep. on the inside, so it was easy for me to do. But. Oh, yeah. And then, oh, I love it, huh? Yeah, I just did like a, a junk journal feel yeah, to the... Yeah, just real cool. Kind of, kind of bring out the blue. Yeah, I like that. On the inside, and I like it, guys. What do you guys think? Are you going to make one? And if you do, be sure and come over and share it with us on our Facebook page, which is the Ramblin' Crafters with an S, and there's always a link in the description. So, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap today up. Uh, we have a long day ahead of us and I need to get started with it. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and follow along. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps out our channel and we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye guys. Thank you for visiting. Touch everyone.